She was old and neglected, so we cut her to bear holes and built her up from the ground with our blood, sweat and tears. So follow our journey as we plan to sail her to new destinations and make lasting memories. Last week on Saving Lady Africa, we met up with James at Blue Nova and discussed our lithium batteries. Well, this is for the back cabin. There's a recess inside there where that little cushion is, so I just need to cut this out for there. Doug, now this is probably one of those tools that you'd never need to use on that steel boat. But on these plastic boats, it, it works wonders. We cut them up in no time. Ricky finished up all the templates of Fomalite for our headliner. Now all we got still to do is cover it with vinyl and insert it. So it's done. What I'm busy doing over here is just cutting out some cork plugs. And if you go through there, that's actually the engine inside there. And this comes into one of the cabinets in the aft cabin. So there's the access cabin in the aft cabin. So what I do is I just cut a plug out, out of Lysol and plug it in there and I'm just going to do a repair quickly. I'll just start with some bonding paste. So I'll bonding paste it in and then I'll put a couple of layers of fiberglass and when we remove the engine on the other side I'll do the inside complete repair. Close up the hole completely. The new editing studio setup. And this makes my life so much easier because I used to sit with it on my lap like this and I've got a table. Fantastic, and once I put in the, see there's one leg at the moment, the other one's on order, so I just temporarily secured that in the middle. But once the other one gets here, we'll have a double, double leg set up, be nice and strong. Then go down, loosen those two, and transforms it into a bed. Nap time. So we're going to start, this is some bonding paste, if you guys don't know what it is, it's basically a structural polyester mix. It's got some fillers, got resin, got everything in one, got a good consistency to it, precisely how you want it. And uh, this is a catalyst, makes that react. So we go to a 3%. A little chilly today, but it's gonna warm up nicely throughout the day. So we go 3% this to that amount that we've got there by volume. We'll use this to secure our core in, and then we'll gloss over that directly. So while this is still wet, we're glossing. So it's a one, it's a chemical bond as opposed to a mechanical bond afterwards where you need to roughen it up and all of that. I'm making lots, because there's also some other work I need to do. So I'll just mix it up, do them, and I'll show you what it looks like. So I take my little biscuits, give them a little dunking. Go to dunk the Oreo, and you put it in. So afterwards, there's the holes closed. Put plugs in them both, close them up. The engine's out, I'll do the outside, and then that one I'll do super strong. Ricky and Moses also got down to getting the fairing on our deck done. Seems to work quite well. Take one of these, and then just whack it around like that to get the edge nice and round. It's just a lot of work. Whose bright idea was it to make us work on a Sunday? You know how difficult it is to work on a Sunday? It's flipping killer. We're just sitting in the sun and we're just like... We both chickened out of work and went to the petting zoo instead. Who doesn't love cuddly farm animals? The ducks seem to prefer me over Ricky. For you to drop it. Ow! <laughs> what do you feed ostriches? Ciao, Millies. Say cheese! Hello donkey! Oh, it's a little pony! Hello little piggies! 
This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed at home. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm just coming to give you some love. So we were supposed to work at the boats as you guys saw earlier. We, we decided to. let's come to the petting zoo and get some well deserved love from the animals. Oh. And they're awesome because they're all so friendly. And they're so well looked after and kept and exactly. fed and whatnot. So it's good to see. It was great having to meet our patrons Ryan and Genevieve. They also spoiled us to some yummy donuts and iced coffee. So we're going to Durban and we're on our way to my grandparents and they're going to drop us off at the airport and look at Ricky, he's looking all young again. Gotta go work, make some money so that we can carry on with this boat building. Off to Durban, get some work done, get to family, get some supplies also for the boat and come back. And then work on the boat again. As you can see, they used some urethane adhesive sealant. They did a sh job. They should have taped up both sides and put a nice bead in and then rounded it off. Bam. <laughs> Before Ricky had to get to work, we had some time to go visit Dave, a fellow boat builder who built this beautiful 40 foot catamaran from scratch, all by himself. So we're in Durban at the moment. This is someone that's been with me from the beginning. We started When we started uploading our first episodes, Dave got in contact with us and he's like, he's also building a boat and he's up in Durban and he was so helpful to us, man. In boat building wise, this guy's my mentor. He's helped me out. We've always chatted back and forth. A big thanks to Dave and he's done a fantastic job. This boat's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Dave had given us endless amounts of advice throughout the years. So it was great finally meeting him and seeing the beautiful yacht in person. Show us what it is. Well, the, the chart plot obviously sits in there. Yeah. Okay? So you can loosen the clamp there. Yeah? Very nice. And then you can do your stuff and then pull it back and bring it back. Premium. Up. You can see it nice. You can see it, you know? Very, very neat. Yeah. Take of those beauties. I wish. Huh? That's what oh, I wished for. Man. <laughs> and you don't know how many nights I did the calculations over and over and over, but it won't fit shaft drive. Yes, there's a nice proper hydraulic connection system. Thanks for giving us a tour of your beautiful yacht, Dave, and can't wait to see her go into the water. So, our last day in Durban, and it's Sunday today. We're leaving back to PE. We also came up to do some work, and with that, I also took the time and that money that we made to buy, if you can guess, this is a watermaker pump that I built. Not a standard one that you buy off the shelf. I got the motor, then I got the flange and the valve housing with the pump. We just need to pack it up. 
because to courier this down to PE costs more than me to buy an extra bag and pack it in with the flight stuff. So hopefully we won't have any problems and I can just fly it down with us. <laughs> that doesn't look like a sus suspicious package, I don't know what does. Our water pump was in the clear and back to PE we went. We're back on the boat. Moses is happy to see us again. I managed while I was up in Durban to also build my water maker pump. So buy all the components and build it up. It's good to be back. Get this boat done, Pam. How are you feeling for it? We're going to finish the boat. We're going to finish the we're boat. we finish the boat now. What we're going to do now quickly is just install some more of the electrical stuff. So this is just a pop-up plug. So it's flush like that and sits like this on your countertop. You push that and you pull it up and then you got access to your power and then you turn it on and turn it off and push it back in. Front one over here, so it's right next to the freezer because we plan on putting the microwave somewhere around this area. I think this corner, what do you think? But you put the thing, why? Well I just put the coke here there, but we can move it. We can put it wherever we want to put it. Because then you've got still all that countertop space if we yeah. put it here. We kind of lose a little bit. If we go there, okay. it's kind of in the corner and hidden away. So we just man, mount this whole slot on. Stay tuned till next week where we fit in our cabinetry doors. If you would like to purchase our amazing boat builders coin, check out SV Seeker's website. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up because it helps us out a lot. If you would like to join our amazing patron family and get behind the scenes footage of what we're up to, a link is provided in the description below.